All right, real quick, this is going to be how to remove the main circuit board from the ESQ1 and replace the battery. Uh, first step is to take these four hex screws off the top and then either one of two things. If you have the version of the ESQ1 which has the battery located like somewhere about here and it's running left to right then you can simply desolder it from the top of the board remove it put another one in no big deal if however you've got this other version that has the battery over here running vertically it's a little bit too tight in here to try and get a soldering iron next to this connector and the uh, frame for the keyboard so what I recommend to do if you have this version is first screw the uh, cover back on the top panel and this is how to remove the main board so what you'll do first is flip this thing over and you need to remove the screws holding the keyboard in place so first you'll remove these four screws here 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 and here and then once you've got those out I recommend you flip the keyboard over you'll be removing these what six screws here 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 there there and there but before you remove these screws I recommend you flip the keyboard over at least for the last few of them hang it off the edge of your workbench and then go from underneath and that's just so that you're not bearing the entire weight of the keyboard on just one or two screws and on the uh, plastic posts that the keyboard's mounted with and then with those out this top panel just hinges open and now we can remove the keyboard first remove the ribbon cable from the main circuit board and then this just kind of slides out there we go slide it out to the left and up beautiful all right now that we've got that removed we'll go ahead and remove the other connectors from the main circuit board here Okay, so you'll also need to come around to the back side and if you've got a sequencer expansion card then there's a little cover right here that has to come off. There's two screws for that. And let's see now, it should pop right out and it does. And then you'll also remove the seven nuts on the IO jacks. And then there is see one screw on the main circuit board up here. Let's see, are there any others? I think that's it. So then just take a pair of pliers and squeeze in these little plastic clips. And just like that. She's out. Now you can flip the circuit board over and easily access the solder pads for the battery and good to go.